irreparable harm of gays being married? Well, I think there are a number of things that we need to talk about. One is it would destroy the family. I mean, obviously, God designed the family to be a man and a woman to produce a child. It is the DNA. It's the genetic structure of civilization. If you don't have that, you don't have civilization. So you're striking it at the very core of its existence. But what does the state have to do with that? You, God can do it, and as a religious person, you can practice it. But why should the state be involved in a marriage? Well, typically the state has always involved, I always been that. involved in a marriage. And I think that because the state's responsibility is to uphold what is right, to uphold righteousness. I mean, it's in the fabric of human thinking to understand a man and a woman make a marriage and a family. God has put that in the very thinking of people. It's in the heart. It's there. The state upholds that standard, always has in every state, in every human history, factor of human history. Do you favor civil unions? You know, the gay president said that should yeah, be left gay up Gay and state. lesbian people can do whatever they want. Uh, they can do that in this culture or any other culture. But they don't have the right to determine marriage for a whole nation. So it's, it's the marriage aspect, not the, if a state wants to pass that civil unions are okay right. to give We're rights. talking about two things, Larry. Okay. We're talking about an issue of civil union. That's a civil issue. If you ask me about whether it's moral or whether it's right, then it no. becomes a biblical issue. That might come up later. But, okay. we're not, we're but a civil issue, okay. sure, they have the right to make a relationship if they want. Chad, why